Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time today. We're going to take a look at a 2021 East to West Alta model number 2810 KIK. It's an awesome couples model travel trailer with an island kitchen weighing 7,400 pounds. This is that secondhand sugar, and I'm here with my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brendan Hannemeyer, on the camera today. Brendan? What's going on, happy campers? Are you looking to go north to south? Oh, this thing's only gonna take you east to west, but it's gonna be exciting. If you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, we'd appreciate it. We're on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Pinterest. Check us out there as well. I hope the K-I-K -K stands for kitchen in a kitchen, because this has an outside kitchen. That'd be clever. That would be clever. Um, yeah, I'm glad the eye's in there. We got ourselves a front power jack. 20 pumper paint tanks, battery in a box location in behind. Great looking front fiberglass cap that's painted. There's some LED lights in the front there too. And then here on the sides, we're gonna have a pass through storage that goes all the way through. I feel like this is a drop frame, Brendan. Yeah, so it is, <clears throat> which allows a, good, a large amount of height in your pass through storage. Uh, fresh water connection, city water connection, outside shower, battery disconnect cable. Um, uh, yeah, cable satellite inlet, and then this is probably the lights there for the front cap. Nope. No dice? Okay. Well, we're gonna have to find those as we go. Uh, it looks like we have a so small solar panel on here too with a motion sense of light, electric jacks all the way around, six gallon gas electric water heater, furnace vent, black water flush kit, and then your sewer drain is down and through here. And then we have rack and pinion style, style slides on both slides. Rack and pinion, baby. Double rack and pinion, baby. All right, and then we got windows in around here. <clears throat> Continuing on the back side, 50 amp detachable style uh, cord, roof ladder, get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days. It's prepped up there for a backup camera, a full size spare that we're gonna put a beautiful lazy acre tire cover on top of. And then our electric awning starts here at the back, goes all the way forward, covers our main door, covers our kitchen slide, and we do get an outside kitchen, which is cool. Oh, it hasn't been touched, but. Oh, that's clean. Clean, clean, brother. And then putting that away, we've also got a two cubic foot electric fridge and then outside TV location if you want to add that on. Three step entrance up and in, lend hand grab handle, 15 inch tire, standard suspension aluminum rims. And then come check out the other side of our pass through. It's a little bit wider over here on this side. I'm a fan. Let's go have a look inside now. Right on folks, we're inside that 2810 KIK. You're standing at the door there looking, what's up? No, I didn't, it was the sound oh, of the trailer. Man. Sorry, I thought you said something, pardon <laughs> me. Looking from the door into our main slide, we've got our couch right here. Is this a trifold style? No. Really? Is it like a legit pull-out? Yeah, but this doesn't lift up from underneath. It does turn into a bed because there's some mechanism in behind here. We're not gonna figure it out live on camera though. Uh, we got our freestanding table and chairs here. Windows all on the slide, which is great. Freestanding table and chairs, that's kind of nice, especially because you have the desk here at the back. You can pull one of those chairs over here, work at the desk if you want. You got a receptacle and USB, and then shelf, shelf down the right-hand side. Nice window here. And if you're not using this for a desk, there's just a little more counter space, maybe a spot to park an appliance, that kind of stuff. And then here, we've got some great storage across the top as well. Built-in pantry on this model. All right, bingo, bango. Could use a shelf or two but easy peasy to do that. And a couple drawers here down below. Nicely done uh, cabin treatment. What do you think's on the box? All right, I'll get it for you, brother. Seems like it was an ad late. Oh. Bears. Doggy dishes for small dogs. Very small. All right. Single serving dogs. <laughs> Single serving dogs. Um, and then right here is our 12 volt fridge, 10 cubic feet. Did I pop this drawer open? Oh yeah, you did. There we go, brother. Came back to it. <laughs> Glass stove top cover, oven down below, outside kitchen here, nice drawer here. And then we have our microwave, some smaller cupboards here for plates and cups. Range hood right in through there. Before we get to the entertainment center, we do have our island here. Undermount stainless steel sink, single vessel. How do you feel about having the uh, the faucet here to the left hand side? I know, right? I was, uh, I'm good with it. I'm good with it. I just, uh, I'm curious as to what the advantage is there. Does it reach all the way over? Oh yeah, you're gold. Yeah, so you're all set. <laughs> um, a few drawers here on the left. 
a cupboard there for garbage can, and a couple more drawers in through there. Good kitchen storage space especially, and great counter space. We have a couple windows here on the door side. We're gonna have a TV that's gonna pop out of this countertop, and then open storage here with the fireplace down below. There it is. Yep, TV's there, so we're good to go. I would rather have a little more speed on the TV lift, Brennan. You say that every time. I do say that every time, but I'd like to get a, maybe just a gear higher, if you know what I mean. We got our porcelain toilet in through here. Dump truck fits. Cupboard space here. Pretty big sink, and then double medicine cabinet in through here. Linen closet, and then I'm six feet tall. I do fit in the shower quite easily. Lots of height in here for me. Nautilus style door. And then right here, we've got some hanging storage on either side. This is an RV King. So you have a little bit less space around the sides of it, but you get the King mattress. A couple smaller drawers on either side too. And I like the cubby holes we've got on either side of the bed too. And then lights across the top with storage across the top. And as you wrap around the corner here, we've got our wardrobe space. Uh, in through there you know what Brendan if you're not you know hanging a bunch of stuff you can definitely put shelves in either these ones or here just so you can fold up some stuff I think that makes sense how do you feel about that I feel great about that hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit us up on Instagram Facebook and TikTok leave us a comment down below have yourself a good day